<laughs> Joey Mad. Buy off eBay. Twenty dollars. Hot topic restock. <laughs> Joey Smash. <laughs> hey, big guy. Sun's giving me a What's up, Pop Tarts, and welcome to the Pop Stop. I'm your host, Joey. This is my co host, Natasha. And over here, we have Digby. What's up, Digby? In the solemn, dignified hello. All right, today we are reviewing the Pop Marvel number 91, Avengers Age of Ultron, Black Widow. You know her as our favorite spy, and she's also known as Natasha Romanoff. She is played in the movie by the beautiful, voluptuous Scarlett Johansson. Wow. Digby, did I do that right? Wow. In Soviet Russia, Natasha grow you. So this pop is modeled obviously after the Avengers Age of Ultron movie. However, Black Widow herself, uh, played by Scarlett Johansson, originally appeared in the Iron Man 2 movie. She's also been in the Captain America Winter Soldier movie, your personal favorite, obviously the first Avengers movie, and she will even be starring in the newest upcoming Captain America Civil War movie, so keep an eye out for that. Whose side are you on? All right now, Digby, hit us with the 360. The Strovia. It is now time for 360. You will enjoy. Here is Black Widow, number 91 in Pop Marvel. Real name Natasha Romanoff, played by Scarlett Johansson. Created by Stan Lee, Don Rico, and Don Heck. This Funko Pop available at many retailers. An obligatory fact, Emily Blunt was originally cast but dropped out due to scheduling. That is full 360. Continue with Silly American Show. Alright, let's take a closer look at the Black Widow. Now, she was not released before the movie like the other pops, but we're glad she's here now. So, to take a closer look, uh, my favorite thing about this pop is the fact that she actually resembles the Black Widow character and, of course, Scarlett Johansson. Far better than the other Black Widow pop that we own, which I believe is from the Captain America Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Movie. And that pop is kind of odd looking, and this one is just, she's a lot more attractive. She's a lot cuter. Um, to get into it a little bit more, they did manage to get a good amount of detail in her actual suit. Let's see if y'all can see that. It's actually all sculpted and carved out as opposed to just being painted on. One of my favorite things about this pop as well is the amount of color and pop that they were actually able to get into her actual Black Widow belt. They also got a really good amount of detail in her hair sculpt, in her cuffs, and even in her little tiny batons. So, I mean, she's just a very, very detailed pop and she looks just like the character. You know, my only critique about this pop is that she doesn't have all of ScarJo's curves. You know, we're to be such a pop curve. I very much enjoy the female form, in pop form. So overall, she is a great pop. I mean, she really, really does have a very powerful and striking look to her. I'm actually really, really excited that they decided to include her in this set. I mean, better late than never. Oh yes, she is amazing. Well, that's the end of our review. Make sure you like our video, subscribe to our YouTube. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. All right, that's it for now. Keep it popping, people. Smoke me a kipper. I'll be back for breakfast. <laughs>